Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, I think I might change my idea with what I want to do as far as the pages go. Um, because I know a lot of people don't use digitals and a lot of people can't use digitals because they don't have a printer. So, I think I'm going to change what I'm doing with these just a little bit at least on one maybe more I'm not sure yet um, sorry my life is uh, I'm always changing my mind anyway I brought out one of these because my idea was to cut these out but I don't think I'm gonna do that on camera um, but I did want to make some more um, belly bands but I wanted to do some that were the height of the journal because I think I want to put a couple not on the front of that one but on this one I think this one would be really pretty uh, maybe not with that but like with this one or that or the music um, oh, and this is the back cover, so I figured that would be really good to um, use up. So, uh, this is nine inches full, so that we only just need one. That's nine inches, and. I don't know which one I want to use. I think I want to use that one, actually. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Oh, and I also uh, grabbed my Ideals book. Um, so I have a Christmas one that I got uh, a couple years ago. And um, as you can see, I have dug into it a little bit here and there. I don't know if we're going to be able to use anything out of here, but I grabbed it nonetheless, and it grabbed my belly band. So, put that aside for now. Grab my trimmer. Anyway, oof, thunk, 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 thunk. Let's uh, try not to destroy everything. Okay, so I'm going to cut three inches off of this, and that should be nine inches, and I think I want this little part right here and that little part right there, so I think that might be the best way to go about this. I'm not entirely sure. So anyway, how are you guys doing today? What's happening? What's up? Are you enjoying your week? Are you ready for the weekend? You guys got any plans for this weekend? Uh, only plans that we have is um, we're going grocery shopping because we go grocery shopping every Saturday or Sunday. Um, mainly because I eat a lot of fresh food now, so it doesn't last any longer than a week, <laughs> unfortunately. All right. So I think I have an idea with this. Okay, that'll work. All right, and now we need to cut. Good thing I clicked off of my OBS because I just threw my glue on my keyboard. That's what that noise was. Um, so let's see, this one is nine, or is this one nine? This one's nine. So let's make you eight and a half. Now, let's make some, let's do a little bit of the 
this one there that is an inch and a half and then we'll do an inch oh pretty I don't know what length width this is but I'm going to put it right there And maybe we can use these strips as like accent pieces. I'm not sure. So anyway, my idea was to um, create one or more of these journals not using any digitals just using paper and um, and um, scrapbook paper because I don't know about you but I have an abundance of scrapbook paper I have a ton of that stuff All right, there's that how big are you? You're three inches, so let's make you an inch and a half. All right, down the middle. Okay. And then let's do one more. And we'll make that one. I really want to do this one because I think the pink will lend itself nicely to what we've got going on. I'm not so sure about the butterfly aspect, but this part will. So let's do eight and a half this way. Actually, let's cut off the butterfly and then do eight and a half. Because we might be able to um, utilize this whole sheet of paper for something. I'm not sure. But I'm going to put this whole thing with my scraps. Bloop. Now we'll measure it in half. And eight and a half is just the height of our um, journal. And that's a pretty nice size scrap there back it and you've got yourself a card all right so we're gonna go with an inch here we'll do two inches here we'll do inch and a half here and we'll do whatever that is there all right, let's see what we've got to play with. Okay, so uh, I want to make this one for the cover real quick. So I've got an idea, not that one. Oops, what is this? Oh, that's the extra piece. I don't know if we'll use that, but um, okay. So first of all, we have to ink. Oh, which means I also need to ink all of my covers. I'll probably do that off the camera, actually. Because I'm not sure that you guys want to sit here and watch me ink for an hour. Not that it would take me an hour to ink four pieces of paper. But I know some people are finicky with what they watch, what they like to watch, which I think is great. You should enjoy what you're watching. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right. Okay. So, um, and I might actually um, kind of do this again, but pull out some of my older scrapbook paper. I think it's really important to use what we have because 
I think we get wrapped up in the hype of buying new or vintage or, you know, old or, you know, antique or whatever, and we forget to use what we have. And I don't know about you, but um, this is my second video for today. So um, I told you guys yesterday about how I reorganized my hallway and my closet. Yeah, I've got so much stuff. I am like, seriously, I need to use what I have. And I mean, part of my job is buying things so I can sell them, like make a profit, you know, that's part of my job. But part of my job is also to create and, you know, sell handmade goods. And there's no reason I can't use the stuff that I have, you know. And like I said, I think we get kind of wrapped up in the hype of buying because so many people, um, myself included, I am so guilty for this, but I'll see someone using something that I don't currently have and I'm like, oh, I gotta have it. Like I am absolutely terrible. That's how I ended up with rice paper. Like seriously, that's how I ended up with rice paper. It, because y'all know how much napkins I have. And how did this get so unwound? Anyway, um, someone, it was Miss Gail. And no, it's not her fault. Just, like, she's an enabler. That's okay. Because I think we all are. But, um, see, that is my idea. Oh, I love that. Okay. So anyway, um, anyway, I think she had some rice paper that she was using and I was like, what is that? And I went on the hunt to find this rice paper, any rice paper. And, um, I did find some. Now, you will get lucky and you'll find people that have it for cheaper than others. Um, but I would say just keep looking. Uh, I have not found wholesale yet, so I will not be selling rice paper anytime soon because I don't sell unless I can find it like wholesale prices or um, like thrift store, estate sales. Oh my gosh, I miss estate sales. Does anybody else miss estate sales? I miss them so much. I want to go, but I cannot. Like, we're allowed to. But with Wayne's surgery right around the corner, um, we don't really want to go out unless we absolutely have to. So... Estate sales are not going to happen anytime soon. All right, I'm going to put this right down the middle of this. There we go. I'm going to trim that up. I don't know what they're doing in my kitchen, but they are making a lot of noise. I don't know if y'all can hear them. And you know, I haven't decided if I wanted to sew around these or not. Or at least the edges of them. Uh, these belly bands. I have not decided yet. Okay, so then we're going to take this one. I think it goes, I don't think it really matters. And we're going to put this one right on top of that. got to love our lace and by the way as far as lace goes you can get lace all over the place you can get laces and trims from the Dollar Tree like I promise you they don't have to be a thousand years old and you know only you know from France or whatever you can get them from the Dollar Tree. And if you guys are interested on like legit budget crafting, then let me know. 
because that's like how I started, dude. I was like, I was doing just regular old paper crafting, but it was like on a dime because I didn't have money. Let's be honest, I still don't have money. I just spend way more than I used to. I don't have any more money than I did before. Um, but you can make really nice journals. You don't have to, um, you don't have to buy like the stuff that's a thousand years old. And I, I say that because, um, I know a lot of people are real big into like, oh, I can only use vintage. Otherwise it's not a true junk journal. That's just not true. And that's just silly. Okay, so this is going on the cover, so I can pretty much make it as thick as I want, and I'm going to, like depth-wise. So, but yeah, um, so I used to do like budget crafting all the time. Like I would only get my supplies from the Dollar Tree or, you know, the Dollar Store or Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning was a big factor into where I got craft supplies. I would only get, um, I would only go to Michael's when they had like super crazy sales and I would be able to get like, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars worth of stuff for like sixty dollars. Yeah. And yes, I did that a lot, which is why I have so much Michael's crap. I have recollections everywhere. Paper, stickers, embellishment, you name it, I get it. Because I did, I went crazy. Like if you are ever interested in seeing all of the craziness that I did, like back in the beginning, like all my videos are still up. I took down my lives, but I didn't take down my videos. I didn't take down any of my videos. Um, but I would, I would get like the grab bags, um, and like when they, cause they have, Michael's has a military discount and we would be able to like anything that wasn't, didn't have a coupon attached to it. You could use your military discount on. It was pretty cool. All right. One more layer. And I think that might be it and this might not even work I'm not sure we're just kind of playing at the moment I like this but I think I think I want something but I don't know if I've got a super wide color let me see oh this might work actually I have got this This can go on top of that. Oh, that is super cool. Okay, so we're gonna do that. This happens to be some of the loose that was sitting right beside me. Um, I just, I have so much all over the place, it's insane. That's another reason why I'm like, you should just use what you got because that's what I'm doing. Um, I haven't like officially went on like a spending freeze or nothing like that because I am not a glutton for punishment. And I know I won't be able to do that. Um, I like shopping, which is why I do what I do. Because I like shopping. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't, right? Then again, there's a lot of people in the world that don't like shopping. I know, crazy, right? My husband says he doesn't like shopping, um, but that's not true. It depends on what we're shopping for. You take him to Goodwill and he's in heaven because he'll go straight to the electronics. Between him and Porter both, yeah. 
they'll both go to the electronics. Because out of the three desktops that are in this house, all three of them were built. Like my husband and my son. Well, my son didn't have anything to do with mine. But um, my husband's computer and my son's computer, um, both the littles, Porter's not really a little anymore, he's 14, and he's taller than me, but um, my two youngest helped, uh, helped Wayne build uh, those two computers. Oh, this one actually went through. What? Crazy. Okay. Um, I think we're going to trim it and then put it on the other side. Put it on the other one. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. But yeah, so anyway, um, let me put those over there. And then right on top of that, we'll do that. What do you think? Oh, I think it's so pretty. You could just do one side of it. Kind of let that side hang. Tell me our cover. Let me see what you call for. Ooh. There, I put tape there, or I put glue there. All right, let's see. And then again, we could just glue it straight down. I don't really want to glue it straight down, but I really like that. Okay, I think we'll do that. We'll glue this straight down, and then we'll put the belly band on top of that. All right, and we'll do that. And we're gonna have to trim these up a little bit. That's okay. I made them big on purpose. Okay. So, could also put it right here. That way it doesn't interfere with the pocket at all. Well, it's kind of. Hmm. I like that too. I think I like that better. Okay. All right. Yep. I like that better. Come out, buddy. Mm. Just trying to figure out which side was the right side. And then that will be the back. Super pretty. All right, let's see. Yes. Zena, come to say hello. Okay. And we're just going to go straight down. And see, this actually reinforces the spine a little bit, too, by putting the lace over top of it. You know what I didn't do, though, before I started gluing on this cover? I did not ink the edges. 
that's okay. We can do that right after we put this down. Okay. And then Not sure that paper was the best idea. Fabric tack sticks to paper. Silly. Silly girl. Okay. So before we glue that down, let's ink around these edges real quick. I'm going to trim this up. Trim this side up. Well, my goal for this video is to make a few belly bands, <laughs> but it looks like this process is going to take a little bit longer than I had anticipated. Especially if I keep the videos at 30 to 40 minutes, which you guys seem to like them a lot more when they're between 30 and 40 minutes versus an hour. Maybe that's just me. I'm just going off of the statistics, the analytics. Not really worried about inking up the lace don't want the lace inked. Of course you could ink the lace. It will definitely add some character to whatever it is you're working on. All right. All righty. Voila. Oh, we got to do this side. This side's not necessarily as important before you put the cover on, but here. I could show you guys different ways to make journals. Like you've seen me obviously make them with scrapbook paper. This is heavier scrapbook paper. I wouldn't use the super thin scrapbook paper as a sole material for your covers, but you could definitely like add it to something else and make a cover like that. Check it out! Oh my gosh, that is so, so pretty. And that's the back. Oh my goodness. Try to put this in the middle. Is there an up or a down? Does it look better this way? I don't think it really matters. All right, I think we're gonna do that. Oh my goodness gracious, great bubbles of fire. Look at this. I can't believe that we've got a cover done. Well, almost. Oh, 
come out, come out wherever you are. Alright, that. Sorry, I had to look at the time. My dog started like hollering like she normally does when Wayne comes home, but it's only 2.30, so he is not home yet. Which, I mean, I guess the time doesn't really say too, too much, because he comes home pretty much whenever he wants. I mean, as long as his job is done. That is one thing about this particular position I like. Because with him being the head of the department, it makes it way easier for him to just come home when he wants to come home, if he can, obviously. I need some plastic. There you go. Alright, so this particular one is going to need to be trimmed, I think. Yeah, because it's like a little bit off. scissors. Boop. That was so funny because I started talking about Wayne coming home and I, I swear I thought I heard his truck. It's like that is bizarre. Let's see. Now there's a belly band right here. I'm just kind of put something in there. But, yep. I put it in from this side. Hello. Oh, so pretty. And then you could also put something right here on top. Um, now we do have ephemera pieces that are Christmas -y. Come out. All right. I think there's a deer in here somewhere, which I think would go really well with all these really pretty um, flowers. I just have to find her. Um, pretty sure there was a deer in here somewhere. Was it this one? It was this one. What was this? Oh, this is the digital from my porch prints. Oh, I actually didn't even see her. Oh, no, that's all of Santa. I don't want that one. That's pretty. But what I'm looking for is... Oh, it's a squirrel. Um, where are you? I thought there was a deer. That's Santa. I don't want Santa. Well, I don't want Santa right now. At Christmas, all roads lead home. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love that one. Oh, that is so cute. Yes, please. Okay, perfect. Let's ink that. Oh my gosh, that could not have worked out better. And I press 
you cut this? Aren't you proud? Oh, I'm so proud of myself, which is why I keep mentioning it in like every single video. I'm like, oh, look, I fuzzy cut it in. But hey, I can do more now. Woohoo! All right. Oh, that is freaking perfect. I love that. Awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay. Oh, did I tell you guys I almost got a new tattoo? Um, the shop was down, so I couldn't do it, but that almost happened. Ooh. And then this one here, so it doesn't go underneath. And I can actually put all the way out to here. That way it stays down. This one, same thing. You can go all the way out to here. And then our plastic here is going to keep it from sticking to our cover. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious, that is so cool. Okay, imagine the bag's not here. <laughs> Let's just pretend the bag's not there. How sweet is that? Oh, that is so cool. All right. I think this might need to stay a little bit longer. Oh yeah, because that's this is just, it's mesh. It's not um, lace, it's just mesh with um, embroidery, I think, on it. I'm not sure. It was pretty, so I bought it. Anyway, oh, that is so sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it here, and um, we will continue on tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this really fun crappy day, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.